Right now, when the ball and the flow rate goes beyond the highest setting, we call that flush or full line. We don't know exactly what the flow is coming into the device, but we know it's going to be higher than 15 liters a minute because 15 liters per minute is the highest setting on our flow meter. So it's going to be in excess of that. Pressure test the bagger. No leaks. And now what we're going to do is we're going to ventilate our patient. Now when you ventilate your patient, it's important to ensure that this bag stays distended, but not too distended and that you're, now you're going to cause inside your patient any kind of peep that's not wanted. So you may have to adjust the flow down if it's coming into it too fast. But you want to make sure this bag stays distended while you're ventilating your patient to some degree so that you're giving your patient maximal FiO2 or maximal oxygen concentration. So the first lead, you need to size the mask to the patient, making sure that it's going to seal the patient. So take a good look. You can pretty much tell if the mask is too big or too small. This particular mask is going to lie over top of the patient's nose. This part here is going to lie over top of the patient's nose and bridge of the nose. And this part here is going to wind up somewhere between the lower lip and the chin of the patient. So I've already pressure tested. I'll attach my mask. Now I should be able to ventilate my patient. So I'm going with the patient, tell the patient what you're going to do, always speak to your patient, and then place the mask on the patient's face. And then using this E, C configuration, E, C configuration, have your index finger and your thumb on the mask pushing down while these three fingers that form the E go underneath the patient's chin pulling up. So you're pulling up the patient's chin or jaw, mandible, and you're pushing down with the bagger at the same time, trying to create a seal with this mask. So you're going down like so with the mask on the patient's face, trying to create a seal, and then ventilate. When you ventilate the patient, look for chest rise. It should be very, fairly, um, I wouldn't say easy, but you should be able to apply just a small amount of pressure to the mounted resuscitator and be able to successfully ventilate the patient's lungs and have gas go in there. Now all you need to do is just focus on the rate that you want to deliver to your patient. Make sure you've got gas going into your patient. If gas wasn't going into the lungs, we don't have no PA in place, but what we could do is just simply reposition the patient's head and try to ventilate again. Now, what also could be the problem is you don't have a good enough seal between the mask and the patient's face. If that's the concern or the issue, you try to ventilate, nothing's going in. Just simply try to make sure that you've got the mask lined up appropriately. Your fingers are spread out in this EC configuration, EC, Echo Charlie, and try to ventilate. And then just focus on the rate and the volume you want your patient to get. Make sure you have a good chest rise, but you don't want to use too much chest rise, or you don't want to use too much pressure to have an excessive chest rise either. Now one thing you'll also notice with this bagger that I'm using on the patient, let's say the patient's good now, 